Hi, my name is Stan Pernanske. I'm the Creative Technology Director for Sesame Workshop. We make interactive games for Sesame Street and the Electric Company. Hey, my name is Alex Quo. I'm uh, with uh, Symbio. I'm the App Studio Program Director. We're here to uh, showcase a new game that we developed for Sesame Workshop uh, in conjunction with Intel here at GDC 2013. It's built on the new Windows 8 platform on the adaptive all-in-one machines. Uh, this one here we're, show, we're going to show is a Lenovo Horizon. And we're very excited as developers uh, because the new platform allows us to add the dimension of touch to the traditional desktop. Uh, basically, we're able to remove or move the computer from uh, the traditional office desk and put it on the coffee table and build new experiences for game players that are more immersive, more interactive, and more engaging. We're really excited about it, both from a gameplay perspective, but from also from an educational perspective. Uh, it's really a fantastic interface, and we're really pleased to work on a game where we can actually have four children all around the screen, all playing together at once, all supporting each other at once. It's, it's been a great experience for us, uh, and we're really pleased with how the game's coming out and how much fun it is. So first we're gonna show you how uh, the 10-point multi-touch allows us to create a four-player simultaneous uh, experience where all of them can be interacting on the screen at the same time. In the game, each player controls a banana, and we're all helping Paul the gorilla move to the correct word ball, in this case, odd numbers. And then once we have it on top of the, the word ball, then all four of us have to hit the collect button at the same time to collect the right answer. Normally, you just have each user has a single finger on the screen at a time, but we tried to add elements that would cause all of the users to have all of their hands on the screen, so both hands on the screen eight hands on the screen at one time. And um, one of the things that we did is we made kind of this purple goo, which is part of the electric company lore, that will grow and take over the entire screen until all the players stop what they're doing and concentrate on cleaning it off. So to work together to clean off the goo. And this, this happens randomly uh, throughout the game and more frequently as you level up. One of the really exciting things about working on the all-in-one platform is that the enablement of touch and how portable it is and you can play these games on the coffee table. Now, if you look at this game, it's designed for four different players and they're going to be situated on all the different corners uh, uh, you know, around the table. So that means that at some point, all of these things are going to be upside down for one of the players. So we did a couple of things that help associate you know, each player to their own corner. So for example, the, number, the, the, the base is individual. So each player has their own home base where things are just right side up for them. But then if you look at the targets, the, the, the number balls in this case, they're on a rotation. So that means it's going to be right side up over time for all the different players so everyone has a chance to read it and no one feels left out. Well, one of the things that was really exciting about this platform was Sesame Workshop is how we could use it to foster collaboration as opposed to competition and communication in the game. We actually designed the game so that a single player couldn't complete the game on their own. Each player needs to be actively involved in order to complete the game. What's happened is it's actually fostered a sense of collaboration between the users. They'll talk out loud to each other, explain which curriculum they've been looking for, explain how to use the control mechanism of the game, and the users really love it. We've seen great stuff with the kids playing the game. It's really been a huge success from that perspective for us and for uh, Sesame Workshop. We're very happy with it. Thanks very much for taking the time to look at this game. Uh, we hope to uh, have it in your living room soon.